Welcome to another episode of Action Video Game Talk. I'm your host, Scott Action Jackson. Thanks for joining me today or tonight, or whenever you're watching or listening to this episode. We have another list of news articles to go through, so let's just hop right into them. In a recent interview with Turtle Rock Studios creative director Phil Robb, IGN learned that all DLC maps for Evolve will be available to players free of charge. According to Rob, giving players free maps means players won't be booted because they didn't pay for the DLC. Rob addresses the issue. First thing we, Evolve's creative lead, said was we can't break the community up, so all of our maps will be free. We never want anyone to get booted off of a server because they haven't bought something. Rob confirmed that new monsters, hunters, and maps are planned for Evolve's post-release DLC support. Additionally, players who do not purchase Monster or Hunter DLC will still be able to fight against the new monsters alongside the new hunters. We'll have characters and monsters, and even if you don't buy them, if your buddy still wants to buy the DLC, that's cool. And your game will be enhanced through this purchase, Rob said. So you won't be able to play as those characters, but you will certainly be able to play with those characters. Rob finally added that those who pre-ordered the game would receive the first Monster DLC for free. Do you know one thing people love? That is free. Getting stuff for free is something that everybody loves to get. Especially for gamers who spend a lot of money on their games. I mean, everyone knows how expensive these games are nowadays. Luckily, they've been about, about the same price range for a while now. But being able to get some free map packs and those who pre-order the Evolve game will get the first Monster DLC for free. This is a good thing for the Turtle Rock Studios to be doing to get players to keep on the game, to keep playing. Now, I know Destiny, it had some exclusive free stuff for PlayStation players. But then again, people got tired of waiting a long time for the first actual DLC to come out. That probably won't be the case here with this Evolve game. Ori and the Blind Forest has been delayed until early 2015. In a brief post on the official website, developer Moon Studios said that whilst it was keen to release as soon as possible, it had made the decision as it needed. Just a little bit more time in order to add a final layer of polish to what they hope will be an unforgettable gaming experience. Despite originally detailing exclusivity to PC and Xbox 360 and Xbox One, this latest update only makes references to Xbox One and PC. So far, we've given you small glimpses of Ori at E3, Gamescom, and Tokyo Game Show, and we're looking forward to inviting you on this journey when we've released Ori and the Blind Forest early 2015 exclusively for Xbox One and PC. So according to this article, the game has been delayed until early 2015 to try and polish it some more, which they say will hopefully make it a uh, help make it an unforgettable gaming experience. But also something to note on here that they might have dropped the game for the Xbox 360. It might now only be for the Xbox One and PC. Now, last I saw of this game, it was only going to be a straight download anyway. So it doesn't mean they couldn't release it on the Xbox 360 later on once they figure things out. But that'll be up to them whenever they decide to get it done and then work on it some more if they want. Now, like most games, when they're delayed for a little while to polish stuff up, my opinion, let them. I mean, if we've been waiting so long for a game to come out, we can wait a little bit longer. Just let them make sure that they deliver a full game. We don't want a half-assed game that doesn't play that well. Dark Soul fans have been eagerly anticipating this announcement. Bandai Namco has confirmed that the most recent entry in the franchise, Dark Souls 2, will be headed to Xbox One and PlayStation 4, bundled with all of the existing DLC. The Scholar of the First Sin edition will include the Crown of the Sunken King, Crown of the Old Iron King, and Crown of the Iron King add-ons. It will also come bundled with version 1.10 update that adds new features, enhanced item descriptions, better balancing, 
and new NPCs that argument the story and serve to guide players. The new iteration will also be arriving for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Those that already own Dark Souls 2 will receive the version 1.10 update at no cost. The new gen and PC versions will include upgraded visuals, audio, and lighting along with higher resolution textures and better performance. Those platforms will also see an increase in maximum online players. Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin will be out on April 7th, 2015. Now, I just watched through this DLC, the Scholar of the First Sin DLC trailer, and it does look nice. And I'm glad to hear that they are going to be releasing Dark Souls 2 onto the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Knowing me, if I'm able to, I will pick it up. Now, apparently the, the DLC Scholar of the First Sin is going to be out on April 7, 2015. It doesn't say on here if that's going to be the same date as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version comes out. But they can. They probably could do that. Now, when I first saw this news article, all it reminded me of was the Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition, which they released on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as in when, this, when that uh, Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition came out, they didn't need the basic Diablo 3 anymore. Plus, anyone who did have additional saved content from the previous versions could transfer their character over to the new generation versions. Now, I'm wondering if they will try something like this for the new generation versions of Dark Souls 2. Would you be able to bring over your character that you were playing in the previous generation versions over? I guess we'll wait and see. Ubisoft has confirmed that plans for an Assassin's Creed Unity Season Pass has been changed a bit. The pass was slated to include the Dead Kings campaign, new missions, and an entire new game. Assassin's Creed Unity has been plagued with problems since its November 18th launch. The title has had a number of bugs and glitches that have impacted play, including one crash that has caused by adding friends to the in-game social list. In a note to fans, Ubisoft Montreal CEO addresses the problems the title has faced and what the publisher will do to make it right for purchasers. Every player will receive the Dead Kings DLC free. Everyone who has already bought into the Season Pass will receive another Ubisoft game from a select list of titles, including the Crew, Far Cry 4, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Rayman Legends, and Just Dance 2015. Redemption details will be available soon. Unfortunately, at launch, the overall quality of the game has diminished by bugs and unexpected technical issues, he writes. I want to sincerely apologize on behalf of Ubisoft and the entire Assassin's Creed team. These problems took away from your enjoyment of the game and kept many of you from experiencing the game at its fullest potential. Ubisoft has already announced details on the next title update called Patch 3. Another is in the works as well. In addition to the latest patch and this offer, we are committed to delivering further fixes for other issues you've raised. In the meanwhile, please keep your feedback coming. It has been both humbling and incredibly helpful as we continue working hard to improve the overall quality of the game. We are hopeful that with these forthcoming updates, everyone will be able to truly enjoy their Assassin's Creed Unity experience. So yes, Ubisoft has been trying to work on their issues. They've been releasing patches and the, their newest patch that's coming out, Patch 3, I know I've seen it said it had like 300 fixes that it's doing, including some involving the actual crowds and gameplay. So yeah, they have been working on it, just like 343 Industries have been working on the Halo Master Chief Collection. Now, like them apologizing to the fans, Ubisoft's trying to apologize to the fans here by giving you additional free stuff. Now, it said that they're giving the... Dead Kings for free, and apparently those who have gotten the Season Pass will receive another Ubisoft game that you can choose from. 
Now, apparently the details, including the redemption details, they said is going to be available soon. So you might want to keep an eye on either their Twitter account, their Facebook page, or just the Ubisoft webpage itself. But yeah, this is nice. This is it's very nice that these game companies are trying to make up for, I guess, f ups that happen with their game releases. Well, that's it for this episode of Action Video Game Talk. Once again, thanks for joining me today or tonight or whenever you're watching or listening to this episode. Later on, I'll have the separate clips up for the different news articles if you want to check those out. Down below, I'll have the link for the Facebook page if you want to check that out. So, until next time, bye!